What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. In this video, we're going to compare the specs side by side of the Google Pixel Fold and the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5. And I'm going to determine which one is the winner for each category that we're going to list out. And if there's no winner, then we'll say it's equal. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. But before we do, I do want to let you know that the specs that I'm about to list out some of them might end up being slightly incorrect as time goes forward. So if something I'm talking about ends up being incorrect in terms of it being slightly different or uh, spot on or whatever, anything could change due to the fact that the information that we have right now anyway is rumors, but they're really strong rumors. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So first of all, Galaxy Z Fold 5 will be on the left and we'll have the Pixel Fold on the right. So right off the bat, the price determined right now is supposed to be about $1,799 for both phones. There's rumors that the Pixel Fold might drop in at $1,700. Obviously, the Z Fold 5 is coming out after the Pixel Fold, so that might even be cheaper as well. So as of right now, price potentially will probably be about $1,799. Next, let's talk about the cameras. Now, you see the megapixels for the rare cameras on there. And the Z Fold 5 does have higher megapixel cameras, but megapixels, as you probably know, don't tell the whole story. I have to give the win on this to the Pixel Fold. The reason being is Pixel has time and time again shown me that I prefer and I like the photos better on the Google Pixel phones versus pretty much any other phone on the market. And I can't imagine that when the Pixel Fold comes out that I'm going to be yucked out or grossed out or not loving these photos and videos. So I'd have to, right off the bat, give the win to the Pixel Fold because of the amazing algorithm and the software that they're gonna build into this so that the photos always come out really, really nice. Now, videos could be another thing. We could end up seeing better videos on the Z Fold 5. But for the most part, the Fold 4 hasn't really blown me away in any category from photos or videos and add into the fact that the Fold 4 and Fold 5 are basically using the same cameras, just a slightly different algorithm. And I don't have that high hopes with the Fold 5 really blowing me away. So I have to give the win overall on the rare cameras to the Pixel Fold, like I said. Next would be the digital zoom on the rare cameras and the optical zoom. So Pixel Fold has 5X and I've heard 20X, but that's the same as the Pixel, uh, Pixel 7 Pro. So I'm assuming it's really gonna have 30X digital zoom, which would match the digital zoom of the Fold 5, but Fold 5 is a 3X optical zoom. I'm gonna call this one a tie. Um, I don't think it's gonna be that big a difference in terms of the zoom levels and the quality at which you get it at. So as of right now, I'll call this one a tie for those zooms on those rear cameras. The front cameras, you get a 10 megapixel front camera on the Fold 5 when it's closed up. And then when it's open, you get the four megapixel under display camera, whereas on the Pixel Fold, you're gonna get 9.5 megapixel on that front camera on the front facing one. And then on the inside, it'll be eight megapixel, but it'll sit on top of the actual bezel. So this one's an easy winner for me. Pixel Fold again, for all the reasons I listed before on the rear cameras, you'll get the same on the front cameras in terms of that quality and the algorithm and the software. But then, I've complained about the under display cameras for a while now on the Fold phone from Samsung. It's very unimpressive and you're gonna get a lot of that same quality and not greatness <laughs> with that on the Fold 5. Next, let's talk about the display. So Fold 5, 6.2 inch, 7.6 inch, 120 hertz displays. We don't know about the nits, but last year's was 1000 nits. And it's supposed to be using basically the same display. It's gonna be the same size, most likely the same quality. And it wouldn't surprise me if it's the same nits as well. Maybe it'll be a little bit brighter. Um, but ultimately the Fo Pixel Fold is going to fix a lot of those wrongs. That outside display is gonna be wider and shorter. So it should be more fun and better to use. And then the inside display is wider which would be better for multitasking. And the nits are gonna be 1550 and 1450 nits brightness respectively. I've gotta give the win to the Pixel Fold as of what we know right now. That the, the bigger outside display, the wider inside display, the brighter display potentially overall, 
I have to give it to the Pixel Fold for that. Next would be the aspect uh, ratio, which again goes hand in hand with what I just kind of talked about with the skinny display on the Fold 5, which I absolutely hate. So the aspect ratio, I get to give the win to the Pixel Fold again. Next would be the RAM. Both have 12 gigs of RAM, so that's a tie. Um, I guess Fold 5 might have some faster read-write RAM, so maybe you give the edge to that. But as of right now, we'll just give it a tie for both of them at 12 gigs of RAM. Storage, I gotta give the win to the, to the Galaxy Fold, the Z Fold 5, because of the fact they give you faster read-write storage, which is UFS 4.0 versus 3.1 on the Pixel Fold. And then also they're giving you up to one terabyte of storage, which I don't personally need, a lot of you guys don't need, but if you want it, it is there. It's gonna be a Samsung exclusive most likely. You won't be able to get it through the carrier. Next would be the battery, 4821 milliamp battery on the Pixel Fold, 4400 on the Z Fold 5. Now, I'm gonna go back a step because we kind of jumped into the the, the the cameras and, but above that I have the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 and the Tensor G2. And the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 destroys the Tensor G2 in performance and most likely battery life. And going back to the battery under there, even though the Fold 5 has a smaller battery, it might have similar battery performance to the Pixel Fold. So on the processor side, definitely the Galaxy Z Fold 5, without a doubt kills the Pixel Fold, and that's really its big, strong thing about this, this Z Fold 5. But battery size, you gotta give the win to the Pixel Fold. It has a 421 uh, milliamp battery bigger, so I give that battery size bigger uh, to the Pixel Fold. Next would be the uh, wired and wireless charging, 25 watt and 15 watt on the Fold 5, and on the Pixel Fold, you're getting 30 watt and 23 watt for wireless and wired. So. It's faster on the Pixel Fold. I gotta give it the winner to the Pixel Fold for that. IPX8 both are getting that, which is water resistance, no dust resistance on either one. So the winner is a tie for that. Uh, S Pen support, you get S Pen support on the Pixel, on, on the Z Fold 5. You will not get any pen support on the Pixel Fold. So if I'm not an S Pen person, so honestly to me, not a big deal at all. But if you need pen support, you gotta go with the Z Fold 5. Weight is another big difference. Z Fold 5 wins this by a pretty big shot. So they're getting 254 grams weight versus 283 grams weight. It's a lot lighter. It's almost 30 grams lighter in weight, which I think that's like 0.8 ounces. It's not a full ounce, but it's like almost an ounce on there. So that considerably could add some hand fatigue on the Pixel Fold for the weight. But overall, I tallied everything up. One, two, three. The Fold 5 won four and the Z Fold one one, one, two, three, four, five, six out of the uh, categories on there. So, you know, it all depends. Both of them are gonna be great phones. Samsung also has their own software, same as Pixel, but you know, Samsung has the years of generations of folding phones. This is the first folding phone from Pixel, so you might see some bugs. The software experience alone on Samsung has tons of customizations and things like that. I don't expect the Pixel Fold to really compete with that in a way, but it still will have its own customizations and tips and tricks. And um, yeah, that's what we know so far for pretty much the specs on this. Let me know what your thoughts are on this. Which is the winner? Let me know in the comments to, uh, down below and why, and we'll see you guys down the road.